everybody, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2016 PIP2 question series, I'll be going through question 14. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's move on to question 14. So this is question 14, okay? So in this question, we will use fractions and assumption method to solve it. Okay, so we just did assumption method a few videos back. So let's see if you can recall how we use this method in this question. Okay, so Suyin baked some pies. She gave one fifth of them to her relatives and 30 of them to her friends. She was left with two thirds of the pies. She packed these into 18 boxes. Some boxes contain six pies while the rest contain 12. Part A. How many pies were packed into the 18 boxes? Part B. How many boxes contain 6 pies? Okay, so these are this is the question. So now that we read the question, let's highlight the key information. Okay, so let's highlight it. So Suyin baked some pies. She gave one fifth of them to her relatives and 30 of them to her friends. She was left with two-thirds of the pies. She packed these these into 18 boxes. Okay. So Sui so had some pies, right? She gave one fifth of them to her relatives, 30 of them to her friends, and after she gave them right, she she's only left with two thirds of the pies. Okay. She packed these pies into 18 boxes. So the remaining pies she had right she it was packed into 18 boxes. So they are telling us that some boxes contain 6 pies while the rest contain 12, okay? So this is the question. So for part A, they are asking us how many pies were packed into the 18 boxes. Okay, so first we need to find... Okay, first we, we list down what she gave to her relatives. So she gave to her relatives one fifth, right? And then... She gave to her friends 30, but we do not know the actual fraction. We, she had left with two thirds. Okay, what I did here, it is to make all of them the common factor, which is uh, the common denominator, which is 15, okay? So I made it into a common denominator. So in order to find the friends, right, we can take one whole minus relatives minus the left, okay? So friends is equal to one whole minus one fifth minus two thirds. So one fifth is the relatives and two thirds is the left. So which will give us two over 15. Okay, so two over 15 is the friends. Okay, now we know something. It's really important. Two over 15. Two over 15 is equal to 30. That means that two units, the numerator two units is equal to 30. So two units is equal to 30. Wow, now you can find one unit. 1 unit is equal to 30 divided by 2, which is 15. Okay, now it's really easy already. In order to find how many pies were packed into the 18 boxes, we just need to calculate the left. The left is basically 10 units, right? So we take, we need to find 10 units, which is, which is 1 unit 15 times 10, which is 150. So 150 is the answer for part A. Okay, so I hope you understand this for part A. So now let's move on to part B. So part B is asking us how many boxes contain six pies? Okay, so this is where we need to use our assumption method. See this assumption method. I hope you are re still remember it. Okay, let's test out and see if you remember the assumption method. So the assumption method we need to assume that all of them are 6 pies. No, we should assume all of them are 12 pies because we should assume the opposite of what the question is asking us so that you will give us the opposite answer in the end. So, uh, do you remember the step process? We need to take, we need to find the, wait, we need to find the what? Yes, we need to find, we need to assume the 12 pies, okay? We need to assume 12 pies. So you take 12 times 18 in order to find how many pies are there. So 12 pies in each box. So 12 times 18 boxes is 216. Is 216 the same as 150? No, it's way more than 150. 
So what we should do is find the difference now. So we find the big difference. This difference is the big difference and the small difference is basically between these two, 12 and 6, okay? So the big difference, 216 minus 150, which will give us 66. Now we find the small difference. Yes, the small difference is always between these two, 6 and 12, okay? So 12 minus 6 equals 6, okay? So the, the last step is to take the big difference minus the small difference, okay? So big difference minus small difference is equal to 66 divided by 6, which will give us 11. So 11 is the answer for part B. Okay, so now that we are done with this, we know that 11 is the opposite of 6 pi's, right? So it is 12 pi's, 11, 12 pi's, right? In each box. So there are 11 boxes of 12 pi's. So now we can check. So we take 11 times 12. Wait, sorry, 11 times 6. Because um, we know that 11 is the small pi's, not the big pi, sorry. Uh, 11 times 6 because they are asking us to find 6 pi's. We assume all are 12 at first. So 11 is actually 11 boxes of 6. So we take 11 times 6 which is 66. Okay, it makes sense. 66. Now, we take 18 minus 11. 18 boxes minus 11 equals 7. So we take 7 times 12 because 7 boxes times 12 which is 84. Now we need to make sure that 84 plus 66 gives us 150. So 84 plus 66 equals to 150. Sorry, this is a typo error. It's 150. So 84 plus 66 equals to 150. So it is correct. Okay, now that we are done with this question, I hope you understand my explanation for part A and part B of this question. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!